Galaxies Collector's Edition podcast. My name is James. I am your host on this lovely podcast. My beautiful wife, Trish, is finding her seat and will be with us in a second. We have Chris the Beard Packham. Yo! AJRGM. Cheers. And as always, KS Productions, Ken behind the camera. Yo! Yo, yo. Z, what up? What's up? My name is Zayvon. Zayvon James here this weekend. Yep, better than Ryan. Um... <laughs> better than Ryan? <laughs> wow, shots fired and we got an Here we go. Well, thank you, Z, for being with us today on this podcast. You're welcome. Thank welcome you, guys. thank you, sir. And for always, we'd like to give you stuff for being in part of this podcast with us. Please interject with us, join the conversation, talk to us, let us know all your collecting desires, you know what I mean? And uh, for doing such, we like to give you stuff. And this month, we're going to give you an ultimate fallout, number four. Second print, Second. For first print, Miles Morales. And all you got to do is like, share, comment, subscribe where you need to subscribe to. And you'll have a chance to win that. That's going to be on Facebook here. Share it. We like those shares. Throw us those likes. YouTube. Uh, Twitter. 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 We're on Spotify, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, iHeartRadio, coming soon. So all the good stuff. News. YouTube, all that shit. Find us all those places. Please like, share, follow. Tell your friends about this podcast. You know what I mean? Hey, and, Grandma. And check out our awesome sponsors we have on this podcast. We have some amazing sponsors. Game to Gamer, Pocket Games up in Pierce, Colorado. We have Game Exchange, Angelo CDs, Gifts and Records, and Nicola Play. Nicola played right down on Chambers in Mississippi. Check them out. We can play a video stand-up game for a nickel. Got a lot. Not just a clever name. Yeah, the cheap. Oh, it's right. a cheap day too. Like that place? Yeah, it's a cheap day to take a girl. No, yeah, I gave some. You want some gift certificates through there, right? No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't win. No, sorry. See, well, like, share, follow the podcast. <laughs> you, and you gave some gifts. I rules. do. Follow the rules, Doc. I don't think you were following the rules right, man. <laughs> what? I went last time. I, I went. I don't know about that. I went the powers. Like this, uh, do the win the prize. So, once again, so see, so see, <laughs> you ready? I'm like, ready. Comment and share Chill. anywhere. Podcasts are found. I know I'll be sure on Twitter sometimes. No, well, you know, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully, not too way blurry for you out there. Thank you for joining us, Peter Parker, Gregor Hertz, Kurt Bishop. What, what up, G Money? Thanks for spending our your Sunday afternoon with us, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, said, what, an honor, what an honor we yeah. take it as. You know? That's uh, a dream uh, show. It's, it's an honor to be with you guys in your living room tonight. It is. It is. Hopefully, we have you in the living, living room. Hopefully, we're on your plasma TV right here, right above the fireplace. See, it's a glorious 4K. Sipping a little you know, fine cognac. Wasn't they not in the living room? Well, they're not in their living room. They might be in their basement. You never know. Listen to the car, you know what I mean? My kid watches the camera over here. If you're in the bathroom, it's all right. Yeah, wherever. <laughs> wherever you want to listen. A lot of people do watch you listen to shit in the bathroom. Right? Yeah. All right. I Marketplaces. Do. Gold, 1845 bucks, up $20. Guys have been telling you to jump on that gold, silver bandwagon for a while. It's like an erupting volcano. Absolutely. Silver, $24.56. Back down to $0.74. Down. Buy silver. Just get gold. it now. Oh. Listen, inflation's on the rise. I paid a $8 for a can of ice all last week. Eight dollars yeah. for a can of so. no, it's fifteen no, it was, for two. Oh, was it? Fifteen you save a dollar. One can, two Chris. One can. Wow. One can of ice, eight dollars. So gas is. Well, we needed it because of Chris's gas, and so you know. Oh, yeah. But you know, <laughs> everything's on the rise, except for the Dow. The Dow is down about five hundred points, thirty-five thousand six. Markets going down, which means it's a good time to buy in. Yeah. So. Black Friday joining us this week. Collectibles still hot. We have a huge sale. Both three locations: the Galaxy's Gaming Arena. All C South, all C C25 in Mississippi out here in Aurora. All three stores having a great, amazing sales. What's happening Black Friday? All right, we got 40% off all of our boxed back, back issues of comics here. We are doing 20% off our wall issues and our Golden Age and Silver Age, those ones there, as well as our toys, 20% off our statues, 20% off of trade paperbacks, action figures, pre- action figures. Stores, new and old. Yep, all those pieces, as well as 20% off of all trading card singles, whether it's sports or gaming. And then ten percent on all sealed product and supplies. That's right. I so need that bags, boards. I need that day off. Yeah. Yes, you do. Them sales. All right. New products of the week, and that's our time where Chris likes to shine, and it's picks from the beard, like a northern star on a Christmas Eve morning. Uh, he got his, all his Fortnite <laughs> stuff on. And this guy. Follow the light. Really. Follow the light. Follow, Follow the light. Z, light. And you'll know what to read. Exactly. <laughs> Listen to wisdom. 
All right, first up, we got Dark Ages number three. This is continuing the Dark Ages storyline of Marvel miniseries. Good book. If you haven't if you haven't read it, you're missing out on something good. Mm. I love Mar Marvel magical mystery stories. I don't. Next up, one of my favorites, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Love a bunch of worms. I always love a good Moon Knight story. I think those are chains. We'll see how long before they mess him up because he usually gets one or two stories in before they screw him up again or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more from the show because the the 30 seconds they showed looked kind of cool, but I haven't I seen it. No, yeah, I haven't seen the trailer. Yeah, then we got King Spawn, Spawn number three. A by favorite. I haven't read it yet, but I've heard nothing but good things. Yeah, a lot of people pick it yeah. up, and it's the whole time. It's been a new, a new spawn. Everybody loves spawn. I'm sorry, it's just you four, not number three. I'm number four. Way, oh, way behind. Go. Way behind. Oh. And then DC's hotness this week. Always a fun read. Green Lantern. Wow, that's new. That's new for you. Green Lantern. I like DCZ. No, I mean talk about Green Lantern. You know, should we show Green Lantern like that? Well, you know, I've always liked old Hal Jordan and his his powers. You like Kyle Rayner? Really good. Kyle Ray is the best one to me. I like Kyle just because he's kind of a dick. He, you know, he's, Kyle Rayner is a but dick. he's also you like, he also you like Guy Gardner. Colors. He's also the white man. I love Guy Gardner. You like John Stewart? He's a he's an ex marine. Yeah, sure. I like sure. John Stewart. I like it, it, that's not confusing. Like goldfish looking guy. No, no, no. Like all the human, fish. all the human Kill lanterns. Killawak's Kill amazing. I do not like Killawak. You like Guy Gardner? Your favorite lantern, everybody. Let us know who your favorite member of the lantern corps is. And it doesn't have to be green. It could be white, yellow, sapphire. Who's writing that green lantern, Chris? Uh, uh, Roger, what's his name? Thorn. Dong, Thorn. Dong, Why are you asking me? I don't know. Where's Kurt Bishop? Ding, 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 ding. Oh, tell, what's Jeffrey up, Kurt? Thorn. Jeffrey Thorne's the answer. There Jeffrey Thorne. Please send me a question, Chris. The an uh, who is Jeffrey, Jeffrey Thorne? Thorn. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Kurt. I guess we paid Jeffrey. I would say my favorite one is uh, what's the cat's name? Dexter, the Red Dexter, Lantern. the Red Dexter. Lantern. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like Dexter. Yes, the also, cat. He, he got his powers because he got angry that some guys broke into his old lady, his master's house, and killed her, and he got mad. Mm. And the Red Lantern ring came up and gave him powers, and he killed them all. Nice. You nice. talk about the cat, right? Yep. Yeah. I gotta say, Guy Gardner is mine. He's a badass. I yeah. said Kyle. I like Guy Gardner. He's Kyle cool. Gardner's good too. I like Kyle Gardner. Sinestro. What about Sinestro? I mean, Sinestro's good. He was a Green Lantern. Yeah, I know, but he was like, you know, War like yeah. Free. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like how? You know what? I will say Hal Jordan. He when he's bad. Uh, what's what's that guy? Hal Jordan when he was bad. Gold, gold. Hey, so anybody out there listen? Interject with us. What up? Kurt Bishop says, "What up, Z?" I know. I said, "What's up?" I'm still not getting you that hat. No hats for you. All right. <laughs> Z's got a little fan club here. I like it, man. Your family watching? Friends, um, family? Just tell everybody. No, honestly, you didn't no. tell nobody you were on this podcast today. No, I told my mom. Okay. Did, did she watch share? It? Share it on Facebook. Yeah, he Probably said on another. Again, how do you how do you win this Ultimate Fallout Four? You're like pull share. Out your phone and share it right now. Uh, tell us, see, how do you win the Ultimate Fallout? Okay, 4? I need to get my phone out. How do you do it though? Tell me. Oh, uh, you like it? Mm -hmm. Share it, and you can know you share up, on man? YouTube. Yeah, we go. I like share that. on Twitter. Yeah. Share yeah. on Instagram, maybe if you all have Instagram. Yeah, on those any of social media. Knows. Yeah. So. Hey, what up, Dan? Playing again. All right, gaming release is what we have, AJ, for the gamers out there. All right, gaming was hot this weekend. The first release weekend for Crimson Vow. Commander decks, hot. I've got just a few left. Uh, collector boosters, we've got a little bit left. Draft boosters are still in stock. The other hotness this weekend was the pre-release for Digimon BTO6, the double diamond set. Really great set. We had a lot of people coming through. We do still have some product available. Pre-releases are all wrapped up, but the release will be coming this Friday. Right on, I have a question. You not talk about video games, though. You always talk about card games. We don't carry new releases on video games. Yeah, I wish we did. Yeah. I wish we needed to get ourselves a distributor. This isn't the GameStop podcast. About me, like, no gaming news. I think it's video games. No, no, no. We're talking releases. When we get down to entertainment news, we're going to talk about the big game release this week because there's only one to talk about. This is new product releases. I know. This is where we are right now. <laughs> All right, I'm on sports car releases. I did get somebody to call in though to the store and then ask about uh, did you guys get the new game? And I mean, and I wish we I did. To, yeah, we like I'm so, we're not that kind of store. Sorry, <laughs> listen, 
This ain't an electronics boutique. Let's get <laughs> boutique. <going>. Mommy, <laughs> right, Mommy don't talk about Vegas. Like, come. Does it look at media so. play outside here? All right, well, we got enough people media in our comments. Media play doesn't even have that. Guys, the only video game that matters to us here is Pokemon. Pokemon released this week. That is the game to talk about. Yeah, everyone. Pokemon come on. release, Magic release. You got Digimon pre-release. You All got of a it. Yu-Gi-Oh product uh, delayed. Yeah, we should have had yeah. Yu-Gi release for, for one of the hottest products of the year, but it is delayed. TCG cards for how are long? Hot. Is it hotter than any video game industry right now is TCG. We had four products this week. When That's does what we're talking about. The a, new Magic product come yeah, in. Just it just did this week. Did, I mean, not, not, I mean, the one that's delayed Yu Gi Oh! We don't know. We hope it's next week. We Because I, I have been getting calls about that I one. I know, I know it. I know it, dear. Our phone blowing up. Still probably going to get rings today. What's still not coming out of sports car releases? We had one this week, and that's Stadium Club Chrome Baseball. 129 a box, and we have that at LC South out on Arapahoe University. Sold out up here. That's a great card shop down at LC South. If you haven't checked out that card shop, go check it's it out. It's Road University. So that's card shop in town. Also, check out the one dollar combos. That's like that's the, like the steal. The dollar bins over there are hot. Oh, yeah. yeah, yes, they're fire. Fire and, and made by me. Peter Parker was the first <laughs> one to go through that bin mm -hmm. as soon as that post was dropped. Peter Parker, really? Oh, I came before though. No, well, you came too. You came yeah, too. yeah, appreciate you. All right, so I, I, I guess Peter Parker beats me. Here we go. There. Oh, ooh, now it's a competition. We're yeah. gonna do bias of the week and Trisha show and tell is one as she's clipping her nails for a podcast for some reason here. No, I that. just ripped off a nail and <laughs> it, right. you guys all know it's how cuticles hurt. Time. Cuticles this... hurt. Hey, Trish. Like, can you get this moment? It's me. Oh. Trisha's show and tell. And would somebody that? hand me that, please? Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I thought you were going to do Mario. Oh, it's a me. It's a me, a Mario. So I saw this come in. It was on the counter. I imagine it's probably already sold, but I had to show you just one of the cool things that yet again stumbles into our store. This will be an eBay exclusive. We sell these exclusively on eBay, our eBay store. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a fourth location for you, Z. Oh, what's the matter? No you sales on Black Friday there. Spidey action? Yeah, yeah that's dope. All right. Okay, yeah. Your bid so is. This is Spider-Man's Lair. We got... A lot going on here. Some catapult action. His motorcycle. Um, uh, basketball hoop. Basketball hoop. He's got six monitors, my friend. Six monitors as he swings his. Uh, so swings this his is like his back cave. The coolest party. part is he comes with three Spider-Man or four Spider-Man suits, plus two villains: the Green Goblin and Venom, arguably his two best villains. Is Venom an anti-hero? Uh, hands down, the best one. Yeah. Okay. And check this out, though. Greek Goblin flying around on his little uh, mobile sled. over here, sled. sled. Yeah. So I mean, there's there's a lot going on on this. You got Spidey's little kick-ass skateboard over there. Venom slinging his venom all over the place. God, they they are so dirty. Yeah, slurping. Just slinging stuff all over the. Well, symbiote <laughs> spraying. Oh, wow. Well, it's called a spider layer, you know. Symbiote spewing. Really clean. They like to live in dirt. Oh, spiders are dirty. Yeah, they like to catch flies. Oh, I have a question. Spider caught a fly. Oh, indeed. Yes. What's, what's what, like, you know, the unlimited Spider Man, right? The Green Goblin? Unlimited Spider Man. Which one's your favorite? Um, I mean, Green Goblin? I mean, it's a monster one. Villains? What are you talking about? Like, know. it's a what monster one. I think he's talking about from the cartoon. Uh, no, no, not the know. cartoon. It's like the comic book. It's like a monster one, and it's like the human one. Is that one of the first Spider-Man Unlimited? Because that was part of uh, Ultimate uh, Maximum Carter. Or are you asking about who's our favorite Spider-Man? Like, no, like the favorite game Robin. Like, it's a human one, and it's like a monster oh, one. Oh, I like a Norman Osborn. It's not even a question. The Green the Goblin is Norman Osborn. The original Green Goblin. Amazing yes. Spider Man's Norman Osborn. Hands down. Yeah. Ultimate, yeah. Ultimate Spider Man has the monster looking. Yeah. yeah. Whack. No, no, it's, it's not. Yeah. Mm, no, I'm going to have to go with the there's first one. Good about Ultimate there's <laughs> there's only done. one Green Goblin. No. What? Yeah. I mean, like in the Miles Morales cartoon, I guess. Only right? good thing about Ultimate Spider Man was when they that. killed Peter Parker and brought in Miles Morales. Wow. No, wait. Oh, Venom being the cure to cancer was also kind of cool. Galactus ate their whole universe. Wow. I, I was pretty... Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. Well, he ate them all. Ultimate was a pretty rough series, and I collected most of them, Zavon. As somebody who read them and a fan of them, it's rough. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to add this that um, with this, as James said, they these are uh, exclusive to our eBay store. So if you come in our store, you don't find something that you want while you're here for the holidays, you know, go check out our eBay store as well. We've got so many kick-ass things on there that you know especially legos and apparently we're going on the buys of the week we're going on the buys of the week i thought i was going to get shot no buys of the week we got a fallout 
pistol. It's pretty badass. That is exclusively on that eBay store. And it's on eBay now. Got a brand new in the box. Mm-hmm. It's the yeah. Fallout pistol. It's got is a it, name. Surprise, Ryan. This is it just a Fallout that's pistol. The, uh, is that the plasma pistol? No, plasma that's pistol. Ryan. Plasma pistol. Pretty badass. Lights up. I like it. Everybody cool. should know Check that Ryan out. saves his money for anything that's started. And this is what I thought was going to be show and tell. What's so, up, me? I'm Parker wants that gun. It's the original vintage eBay, Super Mario. How's it feel to want? No. About <laughs> oh, wow. I got two of those, Peter Parker. Come by and see me. See me tomorrow. I got one available for you the before. Yeah, I got one in the box. He has plastic wrap around his gloves. Yeah, still brand new, unopened gloves. Right, thank you for doing this. The whole reason why I brought this out outside of my cuticle so I could clip off the little piece of plastic that was left still no, hanging out still, his arm. This model's in great condition. Out. Still brand new gloves. He's 1988, I believe. No, it's Bob Hoskins. I think it's to do with the movie, right? <laughs> the first no, movie? It's a me. And then got two awesome cards first a game use captured canvas upper deck tom freaking brady jersey card tom I got a brady. Piece of tom this brady. one the patriots tom, one the patriots. yeah patriots the winner oh six time super bowl champion wow you're gonna say he's a goat you're gonna say um joe montana well i mean does joe montana have six super bowls joe montana only has four he only has four but so he played a like winner all right, we're going kaboom. This is Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. Kaboom. That's an amazing Dude. card. That card's selling for upwards of sixteen hundred bucks on eBay right now. Damn. Check it out on our eBay site. That's all sync inc. And you can get to that on all collectibles.com direct link to eBay there. And it is an extremely r- limited print run. It's a one per case hit but, for a kaboom. Yeah, and it's just it's just not numbered. It's it's no. that they did that. It's a beautiful card though. It is very beautiful. It's gorgeous. Kaboom! Kabam! What else you got in there? Oh, I got a first appearance of Rogue, Avengers Annual number 10. Nice. One nice. of the many comic books we picked up this week. First appearance of Rogue. I mean, that's a badass book. Way underpriced, in my opinion. Price on this is 100 bucks. Oh, that's a steal. Black Friday sales, 20% nice. off. I bought something cool today. <coughs> if it's not gone by then. Yeah. It's not gone by then. Exactly. Yeah, I bought something yeah. cool Excuse today. me for my hacking. Yes, it's all good. It's all good. I bought. Missing one issue, a complete run of Marvel's Transformers. Oh, really? You got a full run? All the way down to the end? Missing issue 24. Wow. Yeah, but you got, the, wants that book. you got the high numbers. Good call, <laughs> Peter. It's for you. In your whole salt with that fallout pistol. Thank you for watching, Peter. I always love it when you watch the podcast. And participate in the live sales. Everything you do for us, Peter Parker. Appreciate it. Yep, much. there it is. It's the first four and my personal favorite, the last issue, number 80 in a four-issue miniseries. Peter Parker, you might need this. It's a full run of Transformers done. The whole yep, I bought. With the high number short print run Yes, series. I John bought it. Ward, full... if you're watching, John Ward, I know you need those. It's one missing one issue, but it's 79 of the 80. Ooh, Marvel Transformers, wow. and it also had these awesome mini series, the GI Joe Transformers. Beautiful. That would be cool to see that um, live action. What's really cool is when Alex Henderson was on. He was talking. He has every single Transformers yeah. comic book printed. They had both covers. Pretty cool. That's a wow. nice collection. Thanks, Alex, for sharing that with us yes. when you're on. That's Headmasters, the universe, the who's who in the Transformers guide. Who don't know about Headmaster? I know nothing. You don't know about Headmasters? No. I feel like I remember seeing it at one point. Come on, man. Then the the complete movie Rangers. miniseries, which I think the last issue's in that stack right Can be Power yeah. Rangers all the time, Ken. <laughs> all Power and then He all does the Darkwing Duck costume, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I saw that. was nice. Run of Transformers Spy Generation 2. Mm. That's a rare run. Yes. Very nice pickup. You got that LC South today? Yes, I did. All right. We're always buying both locations. I have experts at every single location to buy your collections. Come on, buy and say what up. Yeah. All right, Dan Flanagan. Yes, we don't have any tents because you bought them all. Last time I had a tent, <laughs> issue, oh, I, I sold them all to you, my friend. They're so. usually found in the dollar bin. They are. But when I get them now, I just call Dan <laughs> and then he's in and buys them. So it's Dan's pretty, the man. It's pretty sick to know somebody on the inside. You know what I mean, Dan? And know what you're looking for. So right. You have a hold slot. You, you, so get your hold slot. So True. the store, at any of your local comic book stores, if you're not in Colorado, if you're out of state, get let them know what you're looking for because it might come in and go out and you're like, oh, man, I wanted that book. That's right. That's on thing for Let us know. Entertainment news. We didn't put it on here, but Hit Monkey came out this week. Yeah, Hit Monkey. I watched the first episode. Show, yeah. Hit Monkey. Hit Monkey was badass. Watched it before you got home last night. It was good. It's a character in the Marvel Universe that they did an animated show on Hulu based on. Looking real good. Garth Ennis, I believe, wrote that first series. Did he, Chris? Garth Ennis. I'm able to cost. I don't remember. 
Garth, I think so. I think Garth had something to do with production. Oh, you know who Garth is. He's created the preacher, the boys. Garth Anus? The boys. The boys. Oh, he's Irish. Okay. Sounds like you're saying Garth Sanus. Well, you know, I'm probably saying it wrong. Garth Sanus is from Wayne's World. Wow. Whoa. Don't forget that. True. What else, Chris? Cowboy Bebop Cowboy came, Bebop out, came out on Netflix, yo. That's right, that's right. And then also the theatrical release of Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters killing it here. Still waiting really to good. see that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see it sometime. Oh, that's Spider-Man, too. I know, we'll the see Spider-Man. it sometime. No, the trailer. The trailer. Yeah, yeah. The, the Spider-Man trailer. trailer. Yeah. actual releases between oh, trailers. Oh, uh, I mean, you got none of Spider-Man trailer really. does look good, but it pretty much told us everything we've been telling you for the last year and a half. Yeah, yeah, that's why I say it was overhyped, though. I mean, I don't know how overhyped it is. I mean, it's hype. It's Spider-Man. I mean, I think it's perfectly hyped. Over it's hyped hot. Scene? I'm wanting to go see it. What you, you talking about? Scene? Spider-Man scene? I mean, I no, I mean like, I am gonna see it. How about the ticket? Chris and I will go see it. You don't gotta come. Uh, I, I'll go see it. Garfield is uh, getting upset. He's like, it's more stress being a past Spider-Man than it was being a current Spider-Man. He's tired of all the questions. Oh, Andrew Garfield? Oh, yeah. How about he just quit bitching and writing? <laughs> so how about funny. that? I thought you just thankful to be fucking in Hollywood acting, dude. It's amazing how some of these, you know, ex Hollywood people uh, are always so whiny and being crybabies all the time. Oh yeah, it's not. Yeah, I wouldn't call him ex Hollywood. No. He's still doing stuff. Is he? Yeah, he really. Released... On Netflix. On Netflix. Tick tick boom. Yeah, listen, if you're going direct to Netflix, boys. Uh, so specifically, it was. Uh... <laughs> It's not in our realm at all. It was a pretty big movie. It's the Jonathan Larson biography, and it was directed by Lin Manuel Miranda. Uh, to Ken's credit, so is the new Power Ranger movies going direct to Netflix too. So, because uh, yeah, Nickelodeon <laughs> lost the rights. There to you that. go. I didn't even know that. Hey, I didn't even know that. I just guessed that. AJ, boom! How awesome is that? <laughs> well, they got the uh, they have the current series. It's now direct to Netflix every week. That's when your career is just fucking going down. Uh, it's back to my point. It's just Hasbro's not doing that. Great <laughs> I don't know. Rock just did direct to Netflix uh, with Ryan Reynolds yeah. and Gal Gadot. I, I Rock's like Hasbro, been out. But... Last summer, Rock's blockbuster movie was he bought a building, wasn't it? No, that was like five summers ago. Okay, five well, summers. Whatever. Just shows you, you ain't even keep it up. No, I'm not. I'm out. No, no. I'm out Rock is coming in as Black Adam now. Yes. That's yes. Black Adam. He knows how With, to drive a steamboat. Actually, you know what we <laughs> hadn't really talked about? Pierce no, he, he, was cast he's, um, he also Dr. Superman's dog. Dr. Fate. That, that's going to be Pierce Brosnan, there's a good actor. Awesome. You know, The Rock Pierce is also Brosnan. the Superman's dog, too, now. What? what? He's, he's Superman's dog, too. Who's Superman's dog? The Rock. He's, he? Oh, he's being crypto? That's great. Yeah. All right, sports news, football. Wow, I'm just going to go through the just the crazy list today, huh? All right, the Colts kicked the shit out of the Bills, 41 to 15. That was that a shocker. Kick the shit. <laughs> Washington, Washington beat the Panthers. Cam thought he was getting uh, giddy there for a second. You lost, Cam. Then we got the Ravens barely beating the Bears, 16 13. Yeah, that's uh, the Browns squeaking out against the Lions. Poor Lions. Lions, they need a win there. The Niners beating the Jags. Niners on fire lately, two in a row. Yep. About time. We got the Vikings beating the Packers. Uh, the Dolphins over the Jets. Who cares? The Eagles just slaughtering the Saints. And then we got the Texans beating the Titans. When all you think you know everything about football, I saw all these people talking about the Titans being the best team in the league. You know, the they Texans don't. Be kicking a, lot of experts, a lot of experts said, don't be shocked if the Titans fall to the uh, Texans. And I'm going to go back on a limb again. The most overrated team in the NFL continues to be the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, so, the do not, oh, do not. Do you not mean, try to compare Dak Prescott to Patrick Mahomes. No. The people Whoa, who tried to who put that. Uh, I heard people this week on Sports Talk trying to put him on the same shelf as Patrick Mahomes. They are losing Dude, their There's mind. Patrick Mahomes, the Aaron Rodgers, Tom the, Brady, Tom Brady, everybody else. Everybody else. Josh Allen close. all the way down here yeah, throwing Josh double Allen. interceptions today. Woo. God damn it. Carson Wentz beat his ass today. I don't want to talk oh, about that shit. You know, Jonathan Taylor beat their ass. Yes, today. he did. Good call. Fair <laughs> enough. Wow. And that's pretty much it for the sports news. Lakers still suck, everybody. Just oh, so. hey, we can't talk about. We had to talk about the Warriors, though. We will hear about the Warriors. Hey, I know Steph. Steph Steph's this. Well, they're healthy. Shocker. Not no. I mean, Lakers Steph. losing. Warriors winning. I mean, Nuggets are riding right in the middle. That's true, though. But I mean, the Nuggets are always gonna go to playoffs, though. So. Yeah, we'll get in. We'll get in. It won't be a problem. But now it's your time, Z. Oh, Z, Z let's talk about. Five books. Five bucks. Z <laughs> Zay Fog brought in his whole comic book collection. The whole collection. Series. I had a lot. Of good ones. We had to go through and curate that shit. <laughs> I, I think that's why he was almost late. Almost didn't get in. Yeah, <laughs> got, got that shit curated. Yeah, I mean I like it. I had books like good ones. Like it's hard to choose one. I hear you. I hear you. Fair yeah. enough, son. So as long as you like it, Z, that's all that's important. <laughs> that's true. Peter Parker, I believe I'm playing you next week. 
Oh, fantasy football, tough. It's been a wild ride. It's uh, Peter Parker. Fuck fantasy football. <laughs> fantasy football has been a tough year for a lot of people. A this lot year. of people. Up and down right. roller coasters. This year just shows that fantasy is nothing like the actual sport. No, no. Me yeah, and Chris going head, oh, to, he head toe, toe right now. Is that Bill Cooks? Where would he go? How the oh. hell did Texans quit kicking all that oh, ass? Oh. Brandon Cooks don't do shit. Oh, bro. Fucking Brandon uh, Cooks. Brandon bro, I think he's dead. Wow. All right, Z. Let's go over these books you brought in and why you like comic books. But that's the whole point of this podcast. Dude. What got you into comic books, my friend? Answer that to me. Um, it was the first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire. Tobey, yep, yep, yep. And then Batman. Is that your favorite Spider-Man? Yes, he is my face spider. I agree so, with that. he's my favorite spider. So, no, hope, mine too. except for the dude in the electric company, he's up there too with the rope webs. Yeah, he's a badass. Yeah, that electric company. Whoever that guy playing him, whoever that guy was. And then the Dark Knight, Japanese Spider Man. Japanese Spider Man. Japanese guy was too. He's a badass as well. <laughs> and then the Dark Knight, Christian Bale, Batman, and then the Batman Arkham games got me into comic books. So, video games and movies is really what introduced you to comic books. And then which cartoons. Is cool, it's interesting to me. That's cool because it shows your age. You're 23. Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid, you know, we walked into 7-Eleven unsupervised and bought comic books off the magazine rack. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have the media of uh, all this cool, you know, comic book culture in our society like yeah. you have now. Yeah. It's like, pretty awesome, dude. So now my sisters get into comic books. They'd be like, we could be actually we had an argument about who's the best Spider-Man was. When you could go buy a jersey, a freaking Gotham City jersey. That's dope, by the way. Thank you. I yeah, know. This actually is my first time wearing this. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. So what's your sister's favorite comic book then? Um, they read anything if I buy it, you know. Like they just you know, they cause I'm their big brother, so they gonna see what I got. But yeah, yep. so we had argument like who the best Spider Man is. I said like live action, I say Toby is. Then somebody said, um, my sister said Tom Holland is the best Spider Man. And did you smack her? No, I didn't smack her. <laughs> I was my brother would have smacked me. To? No, I can't. No. Oh, okay. Did you fantasize yeah. about it? No, I did not. Yeah, I'll I'll raise you that Toby is not the best Spider Man. <laughs> Oh my he's the best Peter Parker. He's both. Andrew Garfield was better as Spider Man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, 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 no, Toby is Peter. He was always awkward and fun. But Andrew, what he got down that Peter never did was the banter. When he put on that Spider-Man costume, he was bantering. But he sucks as Peter. He was too cool to be Peter. Yeah. But I mean, yes. as Spider-Man, he had the banter down. Spider-Man's got to be Holland's making fun of the people. That's Tom Holland kid looks like he'd smack him up in the hallway. So he'd yeah. throw him in the locker and shit. Tom like Holland. Dynamite. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Holland still reads like Spider-Man before he got his powers. And like he hasn't figured anything out. Right. Yeah. Like Tom Holland is the Michael, Peter who never got bit. Michael Keaton punked him. He knew he was Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. My God, my, Michael Keaton's such a pimp as adult. Uh, Fucking just pulls a, go- a gun on his ass right in the car. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, oh God. Yeah. Although I'm Spider Man, I have agility, yeah, I can move, I can it. punch your head off, basically. God. I can literally just punch you before you even notice and he kill you. He was trying to be a gentleman in front of his girlfriend. Who cares? He's starting he your life with a gun. And he's just like, what is she He know? didn't want his girlfriend to be yeah, all freaked out. He was thinking about the lady. He is such a Don Juan. He's a ladies' man. He was not about to cause a ruckus with her. I can't get into those movies. I never watched that second movie just because of that. What? That's pretty much where I Michael stopped Keaton watching just punking it. the shit out of him every time. Mm-hmm. Well, that was bad. Oh, no, no. He pretty much <laughs> just gets punked by Mysterio <laughs> the whole Batman. second movie. That is like in Batman being the dad of the girl you're dating. And Bruce Wayne just fucking really smacked the shit out of him. Yeah. That's scary. By the way, who's y'all best Batman? That's a good question to Ooh, ask. My, uh, Adam West. See, I was... Do you know who Adam West is? Yes, I know Adam West. I mean, I watched Family Guy too, but... Yes, yes, Mayor West. Yeah. Not Keaton? I just like to be different. I would say Kevin Conway, though, for me. The VM games. That's cool. Because... I'm going to go with George Clooney. <laughs> Batman. Kidding, what about Val, Val Gilmore? No. Yeah, George kidding. Clooney's worse than Val Gilmore. George yeah. Clooney. She was honestly the worst. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a good Michael one. Keaton. Yeah. Really? Although, if you go watch those again, he's. <laughs> it's really posy. It's it, it really melodramatic. Like, That's Tim Burton. Rarely do wrong. Burton. Yeah, it's Tim Burton. I was... Listen, it's not Beetlejuice, it's Batman. You know what I mean? <laughs> No, I'm and with you, Zavon. I think the animated Batman <laughs> slash video game Batman was the best. The Arkham City yeah. Batman. Who's voice is him in Arkham City? Kevin, Kevin Conway. Conway. Yeah. He's yeah. the same as the animated He's one. He's got a good voice for yeah, Batman. Like, for yeah, sure. like, I'd also meet you with the best Joker ever has been Mark mm-hmm. Hamill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although Cesar Romero was a badass. Cesar Romero was a badass. Props to Cesar Romero. Peter Parker's calling you a hater. What am I hating for? Of good stuff. I, I just did that on purpose. <laughs> Although... So it makes it it makes for ratings. I'm going for the ratings, Peter Parker. As far as as interpretation of the Joker, which I think 
actually got both sides of him right. Because, you know, one made him crazy and the other one made him a little, you know, the Smart. only one that got him both crazy and psychotic was the Batman one, the one with the dreads. Oh. At first really I thought like... he was stupid, but the more you watch the Joker, he's more like exactly mm-hmm. how he is. Why he's he crazy and psychotic. And he plays it off well. I guess he wouldn't watch it. I mean, because he can hide. I, mean, I just didn't like the man. designs in that one as well. No, all. I mean, his, his look looked terrible, but as far as. He's really triangular. What you figure, that was the art style. I mean, it, yeah. But the way you figure out what the Joker is supposed to be like. Well, no, Noam Albu got some waves, though. Interpretation. I, I, I said, I said, no, Albu has some waves, so. Yeah, well, yeah. So what else? You you worked at uh, All Seas during high school? Yeah, for Tony. Yeah, thank you, you for you. you. Got credit for that, right? intern years. You got some credit for high school. For yeah, that, right? thank you for you because you say yes. Well, Prop Smoky Hill High School for letting me do it, right? Yeah, that too. Yeah. Shout out Smoky Hill. Yes, no, yes. Shout, shout out to Smoky Hill. You know, I haven't been there for a minute. Well, you know. Damn, Smoky. <laughs> do they call it Smoky Hill because everyone's rocking the guns? No, I think it's just on the hill, and it has to do with natives burning fires up there or something back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Like what's, smoke, the, smoke, so. what's Smoky Hill's mascot? Um, Buffalo. 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 Yep. A big uh, blunt. No. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, Probably boy. nowadays. Uh, yeah. So, Z, what are you currently? What's your current favorite read right now, my friend? Z's the, mom's watching this, by the way. Dang it. The um Flash right now. I we don't like combos well, like Marde. You don't com- like combos. I mean Marde combos right now. We don't. You like- get a whole slot. I know. Did Ryan shut it down on you? No, he didn't shut it down. Not yet. Not yet. No. Because he's shutting down everybody else's. <laughs> yeah. no. He's shutting it, Ryan. down hold slots left and right. No. Um. <laughs> no, like yeah, the Marde okay. combos, they don't he's get. I don't think they understand the characters right. Like they don't understand Batman. I I, I did got a Deadpool one. And then it was not like Deadpool. I was like, what are, y- what are y'all doing? All right. What's your favorite Deadpool run? My favorite Deadpool run was the 2016 with Greg Duggan. That's his thing. Is it the one where he fights the presidents? The zombie yeah. Yeah. Kills yeah. all the presidents. Yeah. That is also okay. my, one of that my favorites. Yeah. That, that, funny. that one. Was, I actually read that for like. The that's the last time I really feel like they hit Deadpool. Yeah, that's right. probably the last time I read Deadpool. Exactly. Yeah. So it was like. All right. Well, why don't you get on the independent books, man? Maybe you're maturing your taste a little bit. You know? yeah, I think I was thinking. Tights, tights and capes only go for so long sometimes. You know? That's true. Like, I, I bet we get Nightmare now. So. That's what you need to be reading. No, I don't know about that one. What's that? Yeah, I didn't realize that there's a new one now. And this is touch the last with your, one, uh, so. your uh, feline side. I'll be buying that today. <laughs> get an I'm not Catwoman. Okay. You're not a cat. You don't have a feline side? <laughs> no, I don't. You want to know about Deadpool? Ask Peter Parker. Peter Parker, what's your favorite Deadpool series? What's your save on be reading, guys? What's everybody liking out there? Kurt, I mean, what are you reading on? Kurt Bishop, Action Comics? What you reading? Yeah, I guess. What are you reading right now, everybody? Alien. What is, Alien? Everyone, Chris is reading Alien. We know Chris is reading Thor. Did you read Thor? Chris can tell no, you to pick up Thor. Honestly, Why are you picking up Thor? Do you, read, do you watch picks from the beard? I do. Do you watch it every Wednesday? I do. Sometimes his picks are not, it's not like that. What about the new one? <laughs> say what you think. You're open to your opinion. Yeah. What about the boys? You say Chris is whack or what? The boys? I watched that TV show. I like that. They got the comic book. Why don't you read that? I, I need Ashley. Do you guys? Ashley, I do need it. I do need to get the boys. All right. See? I'm going to give you a recommendation here. I want to know what do you think about Chris's. Once you're done with this, I want to know what you think about Chris's picks from the beard. Sometimes. Maybe, maybe you need to be a guest on picks from the beard. I, I told him that. I told him. a little youth into that thing. I you know told him that. He just get Damn. the same ones over over sometimes. I'll be like, mix it up. So I was surprised he got being lectured today. I was like, oh. We'll get to that. Go ahead, AJ. Go ahead. All right, Z. Here is my pick that you need to go pick up. We are on issue one. Issue two is coming out this next month. Go get yourself reading that. Six issue mini series for Black Manta. I got Think, that. Okay, I, that, that's my that one is looking good. Everything in the first one, I'm loving. It's yeah. a build into the new Aquaman, and you know I'm always gonna be the person saying, "Go read Aquaman." Oh, oh no, what? No, don't get deep threat though. Don't get that confident. No, uh, Aquaman and the others was both terrible and also showed how awesome Aquaman is. It's so bad that they did so good with like so they show how awesome he is in that book, but it's such a terrible book, so nobody read it. I well, I mean, you should read the Cimarron, the Wait, Conan so book you, Cimarron. What's that? It's the origin of Conan. It's like a yep. more adult Conan Oh, Cimarron. oh, could tell me I should watch that show. You should watch Conan. You never seen Conan and the Barbarian? No. Pick up the oh, traits for Rat God. Queens, man. That man, that book has me rolling, laughing the whole time. I mean, you ain't never seen Arnold Schwarzenegger play Conan. Hmm? No. Oh, no. Oh, Jason Momoa. No. Jason Momoa. No. You never seen the Conan. You never seen Tulsa Doom. I saw like pictures, but I never like watched the movie. That's not my. You never seen James Earl Jones. That's barely my time. Let alone his. Are you kidding me? No. That's not his generation. I mean, I, well, that's why he I've seen Ben Hur. You know what I mean? That's I, I do. I do watch old school movies, but to your generation. 
I've seen Gone with the Wind. Ten Commandments. Why? I don't know, but I have. Oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> my mom loved that movie. All right, yeah. Z. Just, Just like reading Sarah What you brought Hall, us to see. You know? Oh, okay. So. You got to kill a mockingbird. Read that book. Um, had to. You want... Had to. No, you're not. I'm totally stealing the Silent I got that for oh, Ryan. I don't have that one yet. Z, I don't think you're leaving the parking lot with it. I'm oh, you're that. getting jumped. Oh, that's one of my favorites mom's now. listening. So, so my, this one. Yeah. Oh, so this Nightwing is one of my favorites because he's one of my favorite. Like, other than Batman, he's like, it's Nightwing. Nightwing's your favorite? Yeah. And, and Jason Todd, but. And then that's it. Really. What about Tim Drake? You say, say in your face, Ryan. What's wrong with Tim Drake? Tim Drake, I mean, he can't fight. Tim Drake can't fight? No, he Why can't. Why can't Tim Drake fight? Tim? Like, he got beat by Damien one time. So Damien Drake. kicks all their asses. Yeah, Damien so beats Bruce every Lee? other Robin. Did he, Batman get beat up by Damien? No. Nah. Yes. 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 Everyone either. has been beaten by Damien. His Damian. mom's an Italian. Dog. See, what do you think about it's like a, this? It's like a martial arts prodigy. Yeah, his grandpa is Raz Agul. Well, I mean, Don't use Damien as your example. No, well, I mean, that, but he did got beat up by Jason Todd, too. And Dick is like, he, he's not. He's smart though. I like that about him. But other than that, he can't. Fight. I don't think. He, he, I don't think. think he, uh, Bruce Wayne was Batman. I don't think he really. Um, before the Jason Todd before. is the smartest of them. The so okay. Damien or Tim Drake come from? Doesn't he have like a background in martial arts? I meant T- Tim Drake smartest. Um, he yeah, does he have a background? He in does. He has a background, I believe, in martial arts. But he was a. Uh, the whole thing is that he was an orphan who started like picking up that Bruce Wayne was. Um, actually, Batman like put together the whole. Jason Todd died. Yeah, he puts together all the clues in like so he's the one who figures out. So yeah, he's the smart bad. stuff. Yeah, that is. Yeah, but before the fifty two, they changed the origin. That's why I was like, yeah. they should have. The they did. Red Robin's amazing. I got that series though. I we'll mean, see. I do. Don't but you gonna hate on Tim Drake? I don't hate on Tim Drake. Well, I do but, like. I do like all the Batman. I like any that balls Batman. What, what else you got for us? Yeah. Spider Man. Uh, yes, it is. That's that what is. we're waiting to get to. I got this sign by my friend gave me that for my birthday. Ooh, that wasn't in the approved comics list. <laughs> That's cool. Signed though. Signed. We're gonna. I mean, I have to add that. I have to add that. Come yeah. on. Is cool. it, it, that wing annual number one signed? It is signed. signed. That's cool. And right. there's a cert of authenticity on the back. That top loader is worth some money. Yeah, that might be one of the best things you brought in. Okay. Comic yeah. top loaders, gold. But, this by man, this I got this week from all seas. Now, is this the original or the reprint? Is that the week? Second print, yes. That's Obama so cool. got the cover, all that right. was so huge. This yeah. comic book when it came out was a big, big, big deal. Yes, it was. yes I need mean, the Obama book. Sling his web all over Obama's face. Well, no, he just tagged me. The first time you saw the grizzly in like 10 15 years. Huh. Is oh, that my. Abe Lincoln? Uh, no, yeah. I said, Hey, Lincoln. I think it was the Lincoln Memorial, yes. And then this one, I got a hook him on this one. What you oh, got? That's the good one. Oh, yeah. All those good price tags you got on everything. That's a cool cover. Thank you. Hey, yeah. James will give you that same speech he's given to all of us about clearly you ain't changing your bags. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I didn't change it because I don't want to mess Although it right up. Right now, yet. kind of hard to get yourself bags. Although we yeah. did just get stocked. You we need did. bags and boards. We got them. We have every supply for your needs. And then so, I, I got this by Amazing Spider Man. Yeah, my friend game. This is how this clear, AJ. The index. You're all it. Yeah. Oh. Well, really, it's no board to protect it. Yeah, it's no board. I my thing is game. Hey, right. maybe. Yeah, that, tell us about this last one. What, what's the special thing about this book? This one, I'm thankful for James, Chris, and Ken generation. I think, right? <laughs> he, oh, man, Zayvon, you better watch it. Oh, oh, my fault. I thought. Yeah, he looks old. He's bald. No, he's not he's old. He looks kidding. young. No, I thought you all, all cause tell, tell us about this book. What you got? I got Batman Death in the Family Wait, number four. Home runs today. I like it, dude. Mm-hmm. I love all this ageism. Yeah. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> He's an ageist. It's a good book. Yeah, I got Death in the Family. This is what? No, I don't have. I have. I got the last one because I, I knew someone was gonna take all the first three. I mean, someone took them at the RC. Oh, go Who to all- from you. Um, customers at RC Fan Club. I bought those off. I bought those off the rack, wasn't it? I mean, you don't. They bought them. They bought them before, you know. Oh, so they didn't take them. They they purchased them. Beat him to it. Yeah, they. (laughs) Yeah, they. You make it sound like you got beat up in the parking lot. No. (laughs) No, it's a little awkward for you to try to pin that on anybody here's specific generation because that was that was made in 1988. 
I would have been two. <laughs> Ken wasn't even born yet. Oh. Ken, Ken was born. He'd been what, six. Uh, five. Five and 88. But I mean, he's still getting votes. Yeah. That book. James yeah. was selling that book, and Chris was reading that book. Okay, okay. Man. I voted. I called in to the vote. Yeah, exactly. I thought some of y'all yeah. can call in. I was only like 13. I was skateboarding, Did, though. You called in and voted dead. dead. See, yeah. this is why. Because this is why I like it. Because y'all dead. can't. Y'all voted for Jason Todd to be dead. Now he came back alive. It's not like you want to be dead. He, he can't be dead. You're hanging out towards him over all of them. No, no. no. Dude, Ryan's going to come for you. Yeah. My, oh, I come to him. All these know. threats. Well, Brian's favorite Robin's still right? lucky he had to go pick up his kid. Oh, yeah. That's what he said? Yeah. He did. Who cares? <laughs> All right, fair enough. Let's get back to these pics. So you're saying Chris is a pics from the beard. I dated an old, huh? Like, like he, an old man pic. Like, he, choo- he chooses, like, the same ones. He just said he didn't read comic books. So. I mean, bar day ones, but, I mean, like, you choose. You put Flash in everything, bro. You don't put, you don't I'm put. Sure I don't like Miles Morales. You don't have to put Flash every time, but you have to put once in a while, you know? Like, every time. Once in a while. I mean, is it right. a, when's the last time it was good? Um, right now, because Wally West is the Flash now. It's not Barry Allen, so. Wally West is. Yeah. Wally West back to Flash? Yeah, so it's like a new take. Let's make it Chris Yon over there. He doesn't like that at <laughs> all. You, you, you don't like the Flash, do you, Chris? Barry. You like Barry Allen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought that all went when. Jeff Johns brought him back. I like that run a lot. I do. I actually got that. I brought that. Series. You know what? I didn't mind when they were building him up uh, with him being the one who was figuring out stuff during the like lead up to Dr. Manhattan coming in. But yeah, after that, I feel like they lost him. The last two years, Flash has been lost in himself. Before um, lost he, in his TV I show. Say, uh, I want to say probably the greatest speech there, though, is that one uh, in Silver Surfer number two, the 90s Silver Surfer number two. Quicksilver or what? Well, no, in that, in that issue, he was like on a planet and he had a race between Silver Surfer and this one guy. And the one guy beat him and he's like, what was your name? He was like, uh, I don't remember. I think it was Buried, Buried Alien. Hmm. That's uh, pretty buried, cool. Yes, I was like, yeah, Buried Alien. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, I did watch, I did watch the last season of Titans. Gary Hurts. What'd you watch? The oh, Titans. Yeah. Okay, all right. Last season of Titans. How would you think of that? It was, uh, no, AJ don't like it. I like it because it's different. Wait, I don't like what? The Titans show. The live action one. That's weird. I, I haven't seen it. You didn't see it? <laughs> so I, thought, I don't know. I'm not supposed to like it. Oh, you, I thought you said you didn't like it. Last time we talked. No, I haven't had a chance to see it. Oh. Uh, the only didn't... Titans I don't like is that, uh, what is that? That <laughs> mini Teen Titans bullshit. Oh, uh, Teen, Teen Titans Go. Yeah, it's never big on Teen Titans Go. You don't like Teen Titans Go? You don't like it? I thought it was funny. Teen, Teen Titans, Titans Go, I can well, watch, like but I got to be high. I got to be real high. I would watch it. Oh yeah. well, I thought AJ. I like it. It's different. It got actually got Tim Drake be a black person. I'm surprised. About yeah, that. sure. Yeah, that's good. We got Cyborg in there, dude. He's black shit. No, he's not in that show. Yeah, they skipped well, the T-Tags newer. Go, he is. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, no, they're he's talking the uh, live wow. action now. Well, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. They, I don't know why they have to do that. Teen Titans has always been a fair mix of everybody all the time, right? I mean, why do they make to make Star Child? Uh, I don't know. Why does it mean, gotta be about race? What do we yeah. care? I mean, Skinny well, I mean, I mean, the only person I see they change the spin color be Jason Todd because sometimes he like he act like he's black. Sometimes he yeah, go. That's supposed to mean? I mean, you saying he's hood? Yes, yeah, he's, he's badass. Well, like, why can't white people be hood? I'm not saying white people can't be. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I yeah, you I know. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, Z? All right. Anybody else got any questions for Z? Because I got a burning question I want to ask him. Oh, well, let's hit it. How'd you end up like in the Pittsburgh Steelers when you were born and raised in Denver, Colorado? Actually, I was supposed to be a Raiders fan. Okay, how? But you were born. Okay, in Colorado. You still explain yourself. <laughs> I, because my family didn't. I didn't. I didn't. But grow, you, my friend. I didn't grow up in a household with Broncos. I really didn't. I like Raiders, and then. So you just follow what other people do. Well, I didn't. Definitely, I didn't choose to be a Raiders. So you fan, like so. to uh, lick toilets? No, I didn't <laughs> lick toilets. <laughs> them, them Steelers are too hot this year. I'm, I'm not surprised. We, we know. I'm just asking what your thoughts are. Why, why you end up? Like we know why. No, we suck this shit. I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, we you suck. Was a bandwagon when Ben Roethlisberger won the first Super Bowl? No, it was two thousand. The second one. Second. It was two thousand five. So the second. Second. Oh no, the first Super Bowl. No, he went. No. The AFC Championship game. Yeah, he lost. He lost. And then. And then he won the Super Bowl the second game. Yeah. And then after that. Then that's when I came. Yeah, the Cardinals. Yeah, that's that's a game I always remember. It like James Harrison. That. Yeah, Jace Harris and then Santana Holmes when he got that catch, I was like, I thought he was out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was, I was like, like yeah, did you have a throw by Ben. Yeah, all Ben. Good game. So are you watching? 
you watching the Steelers game, Chargers game tonight, or are you watching Survivor Series? I'm not watching the WWE. I have been watching WWE for a minute. Wait, what's wrong with WWE? You like Bobby Lashley? I do like Bobby, but it's like they do. Well, he's representing Team Raw. It's yeah. like Survivor they, Series tonight. Tonight. I don't even Shana watch. Flair versus the man. Yeah, we ain't even talk about that. Yeah, don't. don't like that. It's like. That's pretty weak. Why does she that. still have a job? They both Charlotte of them. Flair. Who cares about either one of them? Becky Lynch sucks, too. Vince fired a lot of people. I know, but the reason why I don't watch WWE no more is... The game, then, is what he's saying. Well, kind of. down at the end here, man. You got to lift it up here. Peter I Parker mean, says he is like, jumping ship on the Broncos, and he's going to support the Browns. At least they know how to draft a QB. The Browns? Brown Browns, the Browns, Browns maybe. Everybody. The I think he's Bills, I understand. <laughs> Browns. He's yeah, doing fine. Well, they week. suck this week, but I know. True. Fair enough, Josh Allen. Yeah, they like they have like they just don't know. The, so WWE don't know what, no, what they're doing not. though. All right, what else you got before I go to con news here? Con you think, news. Push more you think ask me? A, yeah, ask me. You got a Ken yawning over here. Chris yawning. I mean, they're they not asking yeah. no questions. Like I asked you questions. Too. I'm asking you. Didn't really give me an answer. You never did say why you like the Steelers. I did. Because I'm good. No, you said he likes the Raiders. Because you jumped on the bandwagon when they won the first Super Bowl. That was the answer. That's not the answer. Okay, I like the push up. Heat on him. Yeah, He's that's not. I was just wondering. I was just asking. Can't questions. take this kind of Brown, pressure. No, uh, so, so it's okay. Peter kind of Parker says. Fair enough, Peter Parker. No, I like the Steelers because honestly, I, I like the, the defense. Steel. I did like the what? defense though. I did like Troy Palmaro, and then I did like Joey Porter. I mean, you didn't pick the Bengals, yeah. So I'm saying you didn't pick the Browns. I mean, the Browns. No, you why would the Titans? No, I didn't. Hey, the Browns haven't been good in any of our weapons. <laughs> yes. so I wonder exactly. I'm just... I choose them because I like the team. I mean, I did like. The he colors. likes the three stars. They made him feel good inside. Black yeah, that bad. <laughs> yeah. Like the black and yellow remind him of the Gotham. Yeah. yeah, that's also that too. Okay. I was like, all right, <laughs> passing this over to They're Ken for the con news. Yes. Oh, you don't know more questions? You got that to know more. It. Oh, it was yeah, it. it was <laughs> All right. If you if you're following the All Seas Facebook page, you Woo! see the craziness that is the Fan Expo going like wildfire. We've had two vendors already add tables. Woo! So we are down to three single tables left in the vendor uh Lewis vendor Brown. room. And we got four tables for vendor tables in the vendor hall. And those are gonna be one hundred dollars. So if you're if you're a crafter or, and stuff like that, you didn't want to pay the two hundred dollar price for a table. We have an option for you. There's a hundred dollar table. We already have two people out of the six uh, that we have, other than all C's collectibles themselves, in the hallway right next to fifty two eighty geek and Mile Eye Sports Radio. You've been kicked to the hallway, man. Been kicked show. to the hall. Wow, wow, I can't even believe it. That's great. <laughs> You know what? That was James' idea. Side? We want to on the plus this. side, we might actually get some air ventilation. Last <laughs> no, time it was so damn. Oh hard. yeah. No, no. This is a Del- double tree Hilton beautiful hotel. I know. We were at the double tree last. Yeah, yeah. No, you like need that. It does have air conditioning. This one is different. The other one did too. This didn't one make doesn't face east. It's different. <laughs> it's different, Trish. <laughs> It'll be in March. So I don't know. Fine. I was sweating like a Hebrew. Listen, we'll be there in March. Well, yeah. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because P, you just remind because P of Parker What'd that day, about? that day, well, well, I asked you that question. What well, did you have? What question? You ask I mean, me? I asked if P Parker was okay that day because. Oh, oh, he's always sweating. Don't worry about Peter Parker. That well, I mean, it was like nothing. He's yelling. It sweating. was like a swimming pool that day. It's fine. Let's go, kid. What else? We Man, he wasn't the only one. We were all sweating like. <laughs> were, listen, it's fine. It's, it's okay. Like, I love talking shit. I'll talk this shit. I don't care. So bad, then. <laughs> That, that's where that's where people get me confused. Is they think I care. I even know. Let's talk no. about the good place here, Brad. The good place. Yeah, the new all locations. seas yeah. fan expo, double the size, uh, just about double the amount of vendors that we've had, which is great. We have out of state vendors. We got some great new a great new Lego vendor. Yeah, yeah. We got Ken likes five, double the size. Double the size. <laughs> we got uh, TCG Nations coming in with. All their uh, ripping and amazing old, they got old Pokemon, mm-hmm. tons of old Pokemon and old cards. New cards. Pocket Games, Pocket Beach, Games, Colorado. our sponsor. Thank you, Pocket Games of the my. Uh, I was about to say my like comics. Oh, my, 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 my comics. No, my, uh, my, 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 my sports. Oh, you like my Sports Radio? Well, yeah, my Sports Radio is also a either. sponsor of the Pocket uh, the All Seas Fan Expo. We're gonna have six. Garbage Pell Kids artist. Six. That's what podcast come along with them. <laughs> Today's been a funny day. <laughs> of course, of course, we have Cali Chronic Comics 
Jeffrey Peterson. Heck, Lord, we are working on a comedy show. We're going to see. We're, it's going to happen Ooh. one way or another. Let me be one, though. You know, I can be a comedian. You'll be a com- comedian you, now. You're a funny dude. I am funny. You're but... just going to stand up there? No, Heck I'm not. Gonna be there. you got to pass Eckler first. If Eckler says you can be there, I mean, you're worthy of a collector, then yes. One of the biggest things he doesn't like much. that we have is we're going to have yeah, JSA, like Beckett, and CBCS on site. We are working. James and I are working tirelessly to get the other, <laughs> a couple other different type of grading for your video games, for your figures. So we're waiting the on CBCS their responses. CBCS there, JSA there, BGS there. Yeah. So we want to be able to have you be able to grade any of your collectibles Absolutely. at the collectible shows so as we're growing we're growing for you guys it's by collectors growing for collectors. it twice the size growing it twice the size we're growers exactly. not showers exactly right thank you kurt i am funny thank you <laughs> kurt thinks everybody's a funny guy. Kurt, it's funny kurt's a funny guy kurt's a funny guy it's jimmy con you're right so Don. we have kurt, i will look into that two, two uh, NECA for predator for you any particular name on this because NECA has a lot of predators available so i need to know specifically which one you would like me to they will to go find. in the Kurtz order on our own time. Anybody else who we're sponsoring on this? Uh, uh, none of yet. We still have sponsorships available. Um, I'm closing them next week because oh. we got to get all the advertising and all the uh, uh, images done. Heard some key bang maybe? Let's, uh, let's go they, with key they have bang. not given a final answer. Really? What about Aurora Rice? Aurora, I'll just well, mention Aurora Rice. Yeah, that's yes. one of our charity, the charity of choice. Um, no, always I mean, sponsored, charity I uh, sponsored to by to. all C's. I do ASPCA because animals right, well, are super important to me. To the con, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just saying. So, more importantly, love animals. And I know. I love the, it. One, one of the newer images James posted has some different colors on the map. Some are deposits paid, some are paid in full. But there's a lot of orange still left on that map. So, orange does not secure your table, green at least secures your table. I'm just saying that I right like now. You're getting real detail with the map. I like it. Have to. Got a key and everything it, going it's, on. It's kicking these right. guys in the nice. butt. Good shit. It's not that we don't trust you guys. It's just that we, as we're growing, we, we don't need trust organized. you. No limited yeah. space. I mean, it's uh, limited. We need to know. We have great vendors that want to be a part. They're going to be shut out on this show. They're not going to be able to set up. They're showing up. They make money. Double the size. Everybody still sold out already. Almost. Most Boom. important thing about the show. Vision free. Comics. Entrance. Vision Comics is going to be there. Vision Comics is going to be there. All C is going to be there. All C is going to be there. Uh, I got a whole list. We're going to sure go over that as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. Okay. Actually. <laughs> to the I hotel. dropped the check off myself. Dang, I didn't like writing that check. <laughs> Whoa. It was, it was a lot. It was a lot. Putting yeah, on the show is not cheap. It's, it's not, not cheap. cheap. Sure. not a cheap show, especially with the amount of advertising we're planning. Yeah. Uh, so get your sponsorships in. I was about to say, so those sponsorships. Yeah, Heckler wants me to help him buy a whole new wardrobe for this event. I mean, Heckler likes top dollar shit. Heckler, that, that is what the Ark is for. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, he likes high end shit. They they got high end. Go to Highlands Ranch in the Ark. Well, I don't okay. think that's going to work. I mean, I wish. They got an Ark over there. Fredericks of Hollywood. Oh, talking Gucci. No, I don't think they're ready Gucci. anymore. But yeah, they are. All right. uh, March 5th and 6th, 2022. We're looking for three big celebrities. We have a couple of lines on a few. I'm not going to say anything yet. Yeah, but... we should have an answer hopefully next week because they're away in England right now. Yes. So. Oh, what? so it's overseas. Oh, you're teasing it. Not Paul McCartney. I wish he was. I wasn't, I wasn't saying that, but. Yeah, I mean, I that is. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I, it is a she. It's a she. There's a, a hint for you. Oh, I might know who it is. Animation right. world. Yeah, I might know who it is. We might. It's a woman. I know who it is. Never mind. All right, let's call Heckler and Wheeler. See what those two crazy knuckleheads are doing here. Oh, great. Well, you know, we got to get that update and see what's going on. See how Heckler is doing. What preparations he's making for his first public appearance ever. Kurt, no, they did not lose it. Only to Godzilla. Totally sweet, James. What's up? What up, Wheeler? Hey, your hair looks totally racked, Trish. Did you color it a different color? Thank you. Yes, I did today. Thank you. I noticed that just because I noticed bad comedians. And I think Heckler, while he was getting stoned, said no. But, <laughs> you know, I know. Yeah, a little too young for the demographic and a little not funny. But Heckler does want to tell you some cool stuff. He's got a rad contest for your new uh, sponsor celebrity tattoo, and it's really rad. So he's getting stoned. What I did was I gave him a couple ounces of killer indica hybrid stuff with sativa, and this motherfucker's not so bad anymore. He really is a <laughs> nicer. He's much oh, nicer now, is, I promise. AJ, he told me 
me that he was trying to sell you that he talked like he was knowledgeable about Pokemon. You're the dude for Pokemon. Anyone listening to this, if you've got questions on like investing in Pokemon or Digimon or Magic the Gathering or how the game's played, AJ is top of the line. I think in the United States, one of the top 20. Would you say so, AJ? You give a better ranking than that. More of top five. I go top five. I, I ain't here to brag. Three. Lionheart ain't nobody on him. You know what I mean? AJ's got them all. So Heckler's ready. He got he got stoned as a mother. Oh. Okay, he's gonna he's got to ease, that, he's gotta ease <laughs> that mind. Jeez. He represents your store, and you know he doesn't want to be a dick anymore. And, yeah. Well, you gotta sell story. on the gunch. You gotta relax. Just relax on the you know make collectibles yeah. for your life. You know. Totally. I'll bring them Right on. I'm Hitler, and I'm much more stoned now. Well, I'm good. really stoned. Oh, my. Damn, this Colorado weed is insane. It's well, I... nothing but the best. Oh, that is pretty hair, Trish. Very pretty, as Wheeler said. Oh, well, but thank you. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. Now. Contest for celebrity tattoo and no to the no comedian. No, never. But I will see you in person at the show. I can't wait to meet you. It's been a great podcast. Have you looked at the faces of everybody? Oh, I forgot I'm a nice guy. Don't pick on a junior high school person. Now, he's 23. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm 23. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity Tattoo is giving away a $200 tat. Turn in your submissions of an idea that has to do with all these collectibles or your favorite superhero or Pokemon hero or Magic the Gathering hero. You submit it to James or Trish, and then we'll all decide what the most interesting one is. And then you get a two hundred dollar tattoo of it wherever. Maybe on your ass if you're a hot chick. <laughs> I don't know if you're a dude where you want to put it, but put it in a good place. Yeah, okay. Right. Hopefully it'd be hey you have Clark. Yeah. I would think the idea if they get a tattoo you give you they're gonna Who be will the get lead. a Het Clark tattoo. We're That's gonna vote for that. Want. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Did anybody know I have that on me? From when I was 15. Yeah. Well, I know we're ready for you at the show, Heckler. Yeah. Giving I'm out prizes. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we're going to talk about this Friday at our stores. Yeah. We're going to have Black Friday, November 26th. Can't wait. Yes. And you've got lots of boxes of interesting Pokemon cards, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Sports cards, Pokemon, Magic, Gathering. Digimon, comic books, whatever you want. Action figures. I'm be there. Store wide. Yes. Yes, the monsters. Oh, I can't wait. Three locations. Later, Hagar. Awesome. Thank you, Hagar, for being with us. And Z, thank you, my friend. Thank you. I hope Sorry I can you come. Compared to a middle schooler. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, I mean, you know what? That just means actually, that, that your boyishly good. good looks thank, thank will you. Yeah, that go prevail you all good. over time. Thank you. I'm just saying, watch yourself when you leave tonight. I think I saw Haggerty out there patrolling the parking lot. Oh, oh my. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> I had James. That's my backup. So. Oh, yeah, I got he you. hasn't ruined himself with drugs and alcohol. No, never. Never no, once. No. Nah. That's, no. that's, yeah, I want to talk about that. Yeah, it's time for collecting. Be, don't be like Heckler, go collect. You want to spend your money on collectibles. Yeah, that like, weed, are you kidding me? Heckler does nothing but read his collectibles. I know, but he needs to settle down and just get back into collectibles. You know what I mean? Collecting coins, cards, comics. It's the way to do it. That's what we do here. Thanks, everybody, for collecting. Thanks All for right, being guys. here with us. Thank you. Collecting. Everybody. What's up?